Other news, figures just released by the Department of Home Affairs show almost 2,000 refugees applied for onshore protection visas in the month of May. Of those 2,000, almost 2,000, only 26 were found to have genuine need of protection. Of the 1,065 refugees who said they needed asylum seeker protection uh, only, uh, and were found to be illegitimate, only seven were deported. But it gets worse than that. The uh, figures show that there's more than 102,000 refugees currently in Australia waiting for their uh, refugee status to be assessed. Some of them have been waiting up to eight years. And we wonder why there's a housing shortage. It's not racist or xenophobic to wonder about that. The uh, Refugee Council of Australia themselves said the process for assessing refugees is taking so long. Many are now gaming the system, figuring they can build a life for themselves and by the time anyone gets around to questioning them, well, they'll have well established themselves and probably won't be deported anyway. Liz, is it too much to ask that the government uphold the law? And when people come to this country and are found to come here by misrepresenting themselves, that they be sent back to wherever they came from straight away. That's a basic responsibility of government is to uphold the borders. Well, it's the key responsibility of government to look after their own people, the safety and sovereignty of the nation and for Australians to come <clears throat> first. Now, that isn't happening on Labor's watch and we saw this with the last Labor government as well. We had thousands of illegals running around, undocumented, nobody knew what the heck was going on. This was long before Tony Abbott saved the day with his hashtag stop the boats, etc. But what I can't believe is at, at a time when we're, we're all struggling to pay bills, make mm -hmm. ends meet, we've got these doomsayers saying every other day recession is nigh, buckle in, the taxpayer is fitting the bill for these 102,000 yeah. mm -hmm. illegals, housing them, feeding them, clothing them for as long as they stay here, the eight years that it takes to process them, yeah. then if they're not going home, what is happening then? This is just a massive, ginormous snowball for the taxpayer, something none of us signed up for, but the Labor government's happy enough to just keep them dollar-dollar bills coming. It, it makes absolutely no sense. We know we have to up the migration count in order to keep the, car, the economy in good nick, etc. and so on. That's a a pure numbers game, but these aren't them. We want skilled migrants, yeah. not illegal. Well, I mean, the thing is, we're bringing in a record number of migrants. The government doesn't seem to have any plan as to how to house them, school them. Our, our medical facilities are running uh, behind schedule. And then we've got all these illegal immigrants, and the government doesn't seem to have a plan for them either. Well, how could it take eight years to assess uh, someone's refugee status? About 102,000 people. Mm. What are they all sitting around going to lunch every day? Like, seriously, that, that is utterly ridiculous. And the point you make, James, about staying here and they're not being able to be deported because they've built a life, that's exactly what we saw with that Bilawila family, who were yep. ruled eventually mm. that they could come back to the country, even though the courts had denied them, you know, eight Correct. odd times. Correct. But yep. that was the argument. We've already built a life here. You, you can't get rid of us And now. a dangerous precedent was set. Exactly. Because you exactly. can't make those kinds of exceptions and it, then be like, well, the rest can sort off. A conspiracy theorist would say the delay in processing is not accidental. Well, no, and, and it sort of sends a message, doesn't it, mm. that, that if, if 102,000 people are currently sitting in in this country waiting to find out whether or not they're actually refugees. I mean, why wouldn't you try it on? Yeah. Get on a plane, come over yeah, here. Exactly. I mean, this was always the argument, you know, was stop the boats. And people said, well, the big problem actually is people who come on planes. Uh, and it's actually quite true. I mean, yep. these are all people who are coming here with a plane ticket from wherever they're coming from, so they can afford that, clearly. Yep. Uh, and then they get here and wait eight years. I mean, fantastic. Sign me up. Yep.